So the first video I showed you was how to create a Bitmoji scene that was basically static. Um, it's a scene that you add all different elements in a room with your Bitmoji, and maybe you want to put some kind of an announcement in there for your students. And you save it as an image, and you can use it in Google Classroom or wherever you want with your lessons. This video is going to show you how to make your Bitmoji, Bitmoji scene more interactive with links to videos and links to um, other websites. So to start, again, I'm going to go to um, insert text box. I'm going to draw my text box. And I think I'm going to go up to the fill and make this a uh, black background because I'm going to put a YouTube video in here. The next thing while this is selected, I'm going to say insert video. And you can also insert a video from your Google Drive if you have one, an MP4 saved there. But I'm going to put in a YouTube video, so I'm going to put in the URL, the address to that video. And I'm going to say select. Again, you're going to have to resize it to fit it in this little area. And once you're happy with that, um, you can just move on to the next task. So on my first slide, I'm going to have a YouTube video. And maybe I'll tell my students in a lesson to um, watch the video first and maybe give them some questions to answer about the video. Um, on my next slide, I may want to have them go to a website. Um, so again, I draw my text box. I'm going to change the background to white. And in here, I'm going to put some kind of text that relates to my link, um, remote learning. I'm going to highlight that text and again insert link and then I'm going to find um, a link. I'll use this one from EdTech Teacher. Copy this link and I'm going to put it in here and say apply. Now I have a linked text box that will go out to that website. Again, it can be something that you want your students to see. And I can keep adding slides and links in different um, types of lessons. Um, if I keep, if I want to keep this background, I can save this as an image um, before I put in my links and then just add it as a background to each slide and do it that way. Um, but overall, that's all you do. And then when I want to publish this, I'm going to say File, Publish to the Web. And by saying Publish to the Web, it'll keep my interactive links. And I'll be able to put this on a Google site or um, in my Google Classroom. I could also put it into my Google Classroom as a Google Slideshow. And that's all there is to it.